So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Mika! Hi! It's me, Mika! And today I'm at the Lang Foundation in Los Angeles, California. And here, you can adopt a dog or a cat, and then they can be part of your family! Oh, there's a dog right there! Oh, hi, I'm Mika! Hi, I'm Megan. Hi, Megan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. This is Willow. Oh, hi, Willow! Oh, it's always important to ask before you pet an animal. Uh, can I pet Willow? Yes, you can. Okay. So just crouch down so you're on her level uh -huh. and put your fist out so she can hey. smell you. Willow! Willow! Oh, what do you think? Aww. <laughs> so sweet. Well, are there more animals inside? There are. Oh, let's go check them out. So what is this little one's name? This is Sprout. <gasps> Sprout! What a cute name! Hi, Sprout! I have some treats for Sprout. Sprout allowed to have a treat? Yes, he okay. is. See, you want a treat? You think Sprout likes treats? <laughs> Aww. Can we bring Sprout down to the ground and yeah. see if Sprout will want to play with us? Aww. Whoa, cool squeaky toy. It's a pink snake. <laughs> so once someone adopts an animal, what do they need to take care of the animal? Yeah, so for dogs, they need a leash, a collar, a harness, um, food, bowls, uh, and a lot of toys. Whoa. Food, bowls, toys. It's a lot of work to take care of an animal. It they is. need a lot of things. Aww. And is it different for cats? Yeah, so cats would need um, also food bowls, uh, litter box, litter, um, some good things to scratch on. Oh yeah, cats love to scratch. And a safe <laughs> carrier in case you need to take them to the vet. Oh wow. So you get a lot of things once you adopt an animal here. Yes, yes, we give people some of the food that they've been eating, um, some toys. And where do you get all of these toys? They have so many fun things to play with here. We get a lot of it donated. Oh, People yeah? People have extra supplies, they donate them to us, and yeah, it's a big help for us. Whoa, what a great idea to donate toys for these dogs and cats to play with. <laughs> oh, what's this toy? Where did these animals come from? So we rescue these animals from city shelters. Uh, basically, the shelters are crowded with animals, so we take them and find them new homes. Oh, that's really nice. And if someone wants to adopt an animal, what do they do? So we would have them come in and meet some of the animals. They'd fill out an application, and we would help them find the right animal that matches their family. Wow, that's awesome! It's so fun to play with cats and dogs, but it's also important to remember you have to take very special care of them. Whoa! Come look at this dog! Whoa, what kind of dog is this? This is an American Bully Mix. American Bully Mix? Whoa! This is a bigger dog. Aww! And she's so loving. What's her name? Uh, her name is Lady. Hi, Lady! Aww! So, so sweet. What's this? A blue, oh, like a little mouse with a super long tail. <laughs> Aww. This dog is so cool. Ooh, and I love the purple leash. One of my favorite colors. Love your leash. Oh, and what's on her belly here? Yeah, so she's definitely had a litter of puppies. Wow, a litter of puppies? That's so cool. How many puppies do you know? Um, I don't, but I think they can have up to 10 puppies. Whoa, that's a lot of puppies. Wow. Oh, well, it was nice to meet you. Thanks for playing with us. Lisa's ready for her bandage change. Okay, great. Aww. Hi! So what room is this? So this is our medical treatment area. Oh, a medical treatment area. So this is where animals go to be taken care of if they're sick or they have, maybe they hurt themselves. 
What's wrong with her leg? So we rescued her with a broken leg. Aww. And yeah, now she has a cast on and she's healing. Oh, good. That must mean she's feeling better. She definitely is. Yeah, I can hear some purring in there. She's purring really loud. Yeah, cats purr when they're in a great mood, right? Aww. And why is she wearing a big yellow flower? She looks super cute, and yellow is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> so that's an e-collar, and it keeps her from taking her bandage off. Oh, that's so smart. And super cute. <laughs> are there other cats that we can see? There are. Oh, let's go see some more cats. Feel better. Cool. Welcome to the catio. Get it? Cat? Catio? It's the catio. <laughs> now they said that there are a lot of cats in here. Hmm. Will you help me find them? <laughs> awesome. Okay. Whoa. Look at all this. It kind of looks like something you would see at a playground. The cats can climb up here and they can scratch. <laughs> Come over here. Shh. I see a cat. Can you see it? Oh, it's sleeping. We found our first cat. Good job. Hmm. Oh, there's another cat over here. You see it? Hi, cat. That cat looks really soft. <laughs> and there's another cat. Hi, kitty. Wow, so we found one, two, three cats so far. Wow. Hmm. Do you see any other cats? <gasps> Come down here, all the way to the floor. There are two. Two cats in there. They're cuddling. I wonder if they're best friends. Oh. Hi. They're so cute. So we have one, two, three, four, five cats so far. I wonder if there's any more. Oh, wow. There's some water and some food in here. They take really good care of their cats. Hmm. Oh, look down here at these little boxes. See some blankets in here so the cats can be nice and comfy cozy. Oh, and look, it's a cutout of a cat face. That's cool. I don't see any cats though, do you? Hmm. Oh, I see one right here. Oh my goodness. Shh, this cat is taking a cat nap. Whoa, it looks really comfortable. I wonder if cats have dreams. Hmm. So, one, two, three, four, five, six cats. We found six cats. Thanks for finding cats with me. I wonder what else is here. Come on. Check it out! I'm in a cat room! This is where all the cats are hanging out, relaxing like this one. Whoa, hi, I'm Mika. This room is so cool. There's a tree in here. Whoa, I bet the cats like to scratch on the tree. Maybe they scratch their back on there. Oh yeah! <laughs> Whoa, and cool thing is to climb on. Look, a little cat toy, a little mouse. <laughs> what else is over here? Whoa, do you know what this is? This long yellow tube? The cats can climb up here and then climb through the tube. Maybe you've done something like that at a playground before. They must have so much fun here. And in each little cubby is where the cat can go and have a little nap. Any cats in here? Oh, there's a cat in there. I didn't even know that. Hi. There's two cats in there. I don't know if you can see. There's two cats just hanging out. Oh, a teddy bear. I wonder if cats like to cuddle with stuffed animals. 
That's so sweet. Aww. Well, I have a cat toy. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Let's see if some of these cats want to play with it, okay? Um, <laughs> anyone want to play with me today? What about you? <laughs> this cat's like, please don't bother me. I'm trying to take a nap right now. Okay, understood, understood. Okay, hey look, there's big bowls of water here because it's important for cats to hydrate, just like us. Hey, something else that they can climb on. And look, these little holes, these little hidey holes that they can just get all comfy. Cats seem to nap a lot. <laughs> hey, Megan. Hey. Oh my goodness. Who Come is this? One more friend for you to see. This oh is Memphis. Oh my gosh. Can I hold Memphis? Yes. Oh, look at this little kitten. <gasps> How old is Memphis? She's eight weeks. Eight weeks, just a little baby kitten. Wow, Memphis is brand new to the world. Oh, wait, is Memphis from Memphis? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know how we got the name Memphis. Oh, it's a super cute name. So Memphis is only eight weeks old. What does Memphis usually do? Um, he plays with his two brothers. <gasps> You have two yeah, brothers? Yeah, two brothers. Oh, that's so fun. Wow, baby kittens are so teeny tiny. Aw, it's so nice meeting you, Memphis. Oh my goodness. You do such a good job taking care of all of these animals. Aw, thank you. Aw. <laughs> well, thanks for letting me hang out with you, Memphis. Getting to hang out with dogs and cats today, we learned about how to take care of our pets and adopt them and make them part of our family. Oh, cats and dogs are so cool. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika, <laughs> well, thanks for learning with me. See you next time, bye. Hi, it's me, Mika, and today we are at Southern Hill Farms in Claremont, Florida. This farm is so cool because they grow flowers and they grow fruit. So today I want to pick some blueberries, make blueberry lemonade, and find some beautiful sunflowers. I love sunflowers because they're yellow, one of my favorite colors. Come with me. that you can use to collect the blueberries in once they're picked. <laughs> That's so fun. Oh, come down here, look at this. <laughs> Have you ever seen sand on a farm before? <laughs> yeah, you might not expect sand at a farm, but this sand that's really soft and fine, it's called sugar sand, and it's really helpful for the blueberries. With this sand, the water can drain quickly, which is super important because blueberries do not grow in a lot of water. So this sand's really fun to play with and touch, but it's really important for the blueberries. So I'll just leave that there. <laughs> do you want to pick blueberries with me? Let's go. Take a look at this. It's a blueberry bush or a shrub. Here, come a little closer. See, there's, oop. <laughs> a stem, and the leaves, and look, the fruit, the best part. <laughs> so see how some of these berries, they're different colors. There's kind of a purple, a blue, and a green. Do you know which berry is ripe? <laughs> That's right, this one, the blue one. Those are the ones that you wanna pick. And ripe means that it's fully grown and ready to eat. <laughs> They're so cute. <gasps> I know, we could pick 20 ripe blueberries. Will you count with me? Cool. 
So we have one. Hmm. Oh, here's another one. Two. Ooh, there's one down here. Three. Four. Almost there. 17. 18. 19. 20. 20 ripe blueberries. Thanks for counting with me. See, you can pick them off of the bush or you can pick them up off the ground as long as they're nice, blue, and ripe. <laughs> oh. This is gonna be really good in my blueberry lemonade. You can do all sorts of things with blueberries. What do you like to do with blueberries? You could make jam or jelly for a blueberry and peanut butter sandwich, or you can make a smoothie, blueberry pancakes, cupcakes, parfaits, juice. There's so much you can do with blueberries. <sighs> Should we keep looking at blueberries? All right, cool. Let's go over there, there's more. shrub. See, it's much smaller than the other plants we saw, but one day it's going to grow nice and big and full and have a ton of blueberries on it. You'll notice on the young plants, they have little flowers. See? <laughs> so cute. Oh, I see another ripe blueberry. Here, take a look. See how it kind of looks white on the outside? That's called bloom. And bloom is like a sunblock for blueberries. It protects it against the sun so the blueberries don't get too much sun. Check it out, a really big yellow slide. I have to go down. You put my blueberries down so I don't spill any and I'm nice and safe. Come on. Whoa, I get it. You use the potato sack to go down the slide. See, you put your feet in here in the bottom, get situated, and then you woo, woo, woo. <laughs> oh, look at this. You must be this tall to ride alone. All others must ride with an adult. All right, let's see. Uh, I think I'm tall enough to ride alone. <laughs> let's check it out. Hey, whoa, it's really high up. This is quite the climb. This slide is gonna be awesome. Look how high we are. You can see the entire farm. <laughs> okay, only slide feet first. Okay, that was my plan anyway. All right, so you lay your potato sack down like this. Sit down and feet first. Feet will go in this little pocket here. <gasps> okay, do you want to watch me slide all the way down to the bottom? All right, see you there. <laughs> Three, two, one, slide. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that was so fast. That was awesome. <laughs> all right. Let's put this over here. And oh, my blueberries. Oh, there they are. All right, come on, blueberries. And you come too. There's more fun things to do. Oh, check it out. It's a carousel. Have you ever been on a carousel before? <laughs> well, let's go. Blueberries down and go for a ride. Hmm. Oh, I love this horse. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at 
this yellow hair. Oh, one of my favorite colors. All right, I'm ready, horse. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, on the other side. Gets to a complete stop before you get off the horse. That's the safest thing to do. And we're stop. <laughs> that was so fun. Let's see what else we can find here. Wow, this is a huge jumping pillow. <laughs> Come on, let's see. Whoa, super bouncy. A pillow? Ooh. Good night. <laughs> Whoa, let's see, what can I do on here? Whoa, I can do one of my all time favorite things a cartwheel. Ready? Woohoo! Oh, I can also do a round off. You can jump with me. What's one of your favorite jumps? You could do this. Woohoo! You could do it on the other side. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm so excited to make blueberry lemonade. I already made a lot of lemonade right here. To make lemonade, you need lemons and you need sugar to make it sweet because lemons are pretty sour and you need some water. But I think we need one more lemon to go into this lemonade. So let me cut one here. I'll show you how you get the juice out. And remember, only grown-ups should be using knives. Okay, so cut this in half, like that. And this is a juicer. We're gonna add that to the picture that I already made before. Yum! Okay, and my favorite part, we have some juice from the blueberries that you helped me pick earlier. We washed the blueberries and we juiced them and now I have some yummy blueberry juice to add to this lemonade. All right. Whoa, <laughs> isn't that such a pretty color? All right, now we'll take a spoon and stir it up. Mmm, smells sweet and fruity. Hey, okay, think that's pretty good. And I have a cup here so I can taste it. I have to make sure it tastes good. All right, whoops. <laughs> and, oh, I should add some extra blueberries to make it really special. Mmm. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's really, really tasty. Oh, I love blueberries so much. Okay, so, I picked blueberries, I made blueberry lemonade, What's the other thing that I wanted to do? <gasps> Find sunflowers, that's right. I wonder if there are sunflowers around here. I have these binoculars. They'll help me look a little closer. Let's see. Hmm. Where are the sun? Oh, <gasps> I see sunflowers down there. Let's get a closer look. Come on. I found the sunflowers. Oh, 
There's a really big one down here. Wow, it's so pretty. See, the inside looks like the sun and the petals all around look like sun rays. Isn't that cool? Like a big, beautiful sunshine. And speaking of sunshine, did you know that sunflowers are attracted to the sun? So if the sun is shining over here, a sunflower will look like this. <laughs> and if the sun is shining over there, the sunflower will look like this. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, they're so beautiful. So I think we did everything that we planned. Let's see. We picked blueberries, we made blueberry lemonade, and we found sunflowers. <laughs> we did it. Thank you for your help. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, I'm at Sky Zone Trampoline Park in Anaheim, California, and I'm so excited because guess what's inside? Trampolines! Have you ever been on a trampoline before? They're so fun, you can jump and bounce really, really high. Have you ever wondered what makes something bounce? <laughs> Me too. Let's go inside and find out. Come on. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good, I'm Mika. I'm Quincy, it's nice to meet you, Mika. Hey Quincy, nice to meet you too. Ah, so what can I do for you today, Mika? Well, I really want to play on some things that are bouncy and I hear there are a lot of trampolines here. Oh, we have so many trampolines here today. Nice. But first, we have to pick from an assortment of wristbands. Whoa, look at all of these colors. I see orange, green, yellow, red, blue and pink. Hmm, I think I'm gonna choose the yellow one. It's mm -hmm. one of my favorite colors. I got you right here, Mika. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> what else do I need? And next you get to pick between these two socks right here. Whoa, check out these socks. They have grips on the bottom. Why are there grips on these socks? There's grips on the socks just to prevent you from slipping on the bouncy trampolines. Oh, good idea. Oh, and there's also blue and black and pink socks. I think I'm gonna go with the orange. These are super cool. So I have my wristband and my socks, and I know that there are trampolines here, but is there anything else that you have that's really bouncy? It's funny that you ask. I got a whole picture of bouncy balls right here. Whoa! Many. This will be the perfect way to experiment with why and how things bounce. Thanks, yes, Quincy. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> it's so much fun to bounce. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Have you ever bounced on a trampoline before? It's so fun. And check this out. If you push down on a trampoline like this, see how it goes down? But if you don't do anything, it goes back to being flat. That's called elasticity. <laughs> and that's what makes it so fun to bounce on a trampoline. <laughs> wow, let's check out all of these different kinds of balls and see how they bounce. All right, let's see, we have a squishy orange ball here. Whoa! And look at this one. It's orange too, but it's smaller. Kind of looks like a ball pit ball. Oh, it's nice and light. I wonder how this one bounces. Oh, see ya! <laughs> Ooh, I love these. They're bouncy balls. <laughs> this is a nice green. Okay, ready? Oh, yeah, let me try again. <laughs> Here's another bouncy ball. Whoa, nice job, bouncy ball. <laughs> Let's see what happens if we bounce the balls and I bounce at the same time. Woo. <laughs> hey, this woo, seems like a really fun space to play a game where you can bounce and throw these balls. Huh. 
If only I had some friends to play a game with. <laughs> oh, hey! Do you want to play a game with me? I would love to, Mika. Oh, awesome! But I got a friend with me as well. Oh, hey! This is Priscilla. Hi. Hi, Priscilla. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. So, do you want to play a little catch on these trampolines I and with these bouncy balls? I would love to play some catch, Mika. Okay. Yeah, me too. Oh, let's do it. Everyone grab a ball. Get one over here. Oh, I know. What if we threw and caught the ball? So we can throw to each other and catch at the same time. I Makes like sense? That. I like that idea. I like okay, that. let's count to three. All right, ready? One, two, three. Whoa, we did it, nice. Did you do it again? Yes. All right, one, two, three. <gasps> awesome. <laughs> one, two, three. Nice. Awesome. Ooh, I'm feeling nice and warm now. Me too. Oh, what else can we play? We could play dodgeball. Ooh, dodgeball. How do you play dodgeball? Dodgeball is very simple. Hit or be hit. Oh, hit or be hit. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Don't be nervous. It's real simple. All you got to do is duck, dodge, and throw the ball. Oh, I got you. That okay, so we're going to try and throw the ball to hit the other people, but you don't want to get hit. You want to dodge and get out of the way, right? Exactly. Okay, I'm feeling ready. Are you? I think so. I hope you're ready. <laughs> All right, let's go! <laughs> oh! Of course, Mika. Thank you for having us. Yeah, this was so fun. So much fun. <laughs> Woo! See you later. So, we learned that things bounce because of elasticity. Woo! And it's really important to get our bodies warmed up and stretched really good so we can be stretchy and bendy like elastic so we don't get hurt. And I really want to try an obstacle course so can you help me stretch and move my body so I can get warmed up and ready to go? Yes, of course. Let's okay. get ready for this obstacle course. Yes. Okay. Alrighty, so the first exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna put our arms like this. Okay. And you're gonna do a nice twist. Nice twist. All right, we're gonna switch arms again. Okay. Another big twist. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna reach for the floor. Whoa. Whoa. And we're gonna hold it for three seconds. All right, one, one two. two. Three. Perfect. <laughs> Another big stretch. Whoa. Ready? One, One two, two, three. Perfect. Do you have Ooh. any other stretches that we could do? Hmm. Yeah. How about we grab our foot? You have to have really good balance and stretch your leg Ooh. that way. All right. Like flamingo. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Try your other foot. All right. The other one. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> it's a little wobbly on this Whoa. one. Okay, perfect. Ooh, my legs feel nice and warm. Ready? My arms are stretched out. I think I'm ready for the obstacle course. All right, perfect. I hope you have fun. Thank you so much. All right. See you soon. See ya.
We get to play with bubbles all day long. Will you play with me? Oh, let's go. Whoa, check it out. Bubbles and, hey, do you know what this is? <laughs> a bubble wand. Whoa, and this one has a lot of circles on it. I wonder if that means it will make a ton of bubbles. Let's find out. Okay, get some solution on there. <gasps> huh. I'll just try again. <laughs> I only got two out. Do you hear that? There's air blowing out from these two places here. That must mean if I take the bubble solution, put it on the wand, and then put it on the fan, <laughs> That's so cool! Let's do it again. Whoa! <laughs> Look how many bubbles! Hey, here's another bubble wand. It looks just like this one, but there's something different. That's right! There's a yellow circle right here in the middle. Hello! All right, let's try this one. <gasps> Whoa, even more bubbles. Wonder if I could do two at the same time. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Whoa, so many bubbles. Whoa, I'm going to do it again. Three, two, one. 
<gasps> wow! <laughs> Wait a second. I have an idea. Check this out. See, there's a bunch of squares in here. Kind of looks like a big waffle. What would happen if I put some bubble solution on this and put it on the fan? Ready? Three, two, one. Wow! It kind of looks like the bubbles you would see when you're getting a bubble bath. I'm gonna do it again. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> bubbles are so much fun. I wonder what else we can do here. Come on. Whoa, look, even more bubbles. Whoa, but check out this bubble wand. It's a big yellow circle. One of my favorite colors. <laughs> See if I can make a bubble. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I caught it. <laughs> Do it again. <gasps> wow, that was a big bubble. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi. I'm Teresa from Bubble Pop. Hi, Teresa. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Hi, Mika. I'm so glad that you're playing with our bubbles. Yeah. Can I show you some bubble tricks? Oh, yes, please. All Let's right. see. So I saw you making a bubble. Uh huh. All right. So we're gonna make the bubble kind of like you just did and then catch it just like you Ooh. did. Whoa. Whoa, you have three <laughs> or more bubbles on your wand. Check it out. <gasps> Our bubbles came together what? and made a huge one. Whoa. <laughs> wow, bubbles All are right. awesome. What is a bubble? Well, I'm glad you asked, Mika, because you can see right here. See this film mm -hmm. on the wand? Yeah, it's like shiny. Yeah, it's our bubble solution. So usually bubble solutions are made of soap and water mm -hmm. and usually something else that's a polymer that will bind everything together. Water molecules love each other so much. They like to just hold hands and be really tight. And so they squeeze the soap molecule together. And that's why there's a thin film here that makes your bubble. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. And when they do that, it's called cohesion. Cohesion. Yep, and that's what makes the bubble hold together just like this. Wow. <laughs> All right, you ready to do a bubble trick? Yeah. Okay, so because bubbles love each other so much, the water molecules inside a bubble, we can actually create a bubble inside this bubble. How? You wanna try it with me? Yeah. So I want you to blow very short first inside the bubble. <gasps> Whoa, do you see that? There's little bubbles in the really big bubble. Whoa! Whoa, <laughs> can I do that even in this little bubble? I think you can. Oh, I see a baby one. Yeah, <laughs> there's a tiny one right there. So instead of blowing bubbles inside a bubble, something else that cohesion allows us to do is put a bubble on any surface that we want to. Oh, okay. Like how about your hand? You want to try to catch one <gasps> yes, in your hand? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so I will make a bubble for okay. you, and then you try to catch it with your hand. All righty. I'm going to catch that bubble. Ooh, oh, that it was popped. So close. <laughs> it did pop. <laughs> so the most important thing about cohesion is that you need water molecules together, right? Is your, oh. Let me see your hand. It's oh, just it was, a little wet. It was kind of dry. Yeah. Let's try it with a bunch of water molecules on it and then they can link together. Woo, okay. Get all the solution on my hands. Yes. I'm ready to catch this bubble. Okay, I am going to throw one at you. Oh, you did it, you caught it. I caught a bubble. Wow, that's Hello. so cool. Let me see if I can even pop it, but I wet my hand. So I think the water is gonna like each other <gasps> and I can put my hand in what? Inside your bubble. Teresa, you're a bubble magician. <laughs> was that cool? That was amazing. Do you want to see other cool bubble tricks? Yes, I do. Okay, come on, let's go. Right, come with us. Mika, wow. let me show you this <laughs> phantom bubble station. Phantom bubble station? Yes. Do you remember before how we made a bubble with just air in it? Mm-hmm. 
Right, well this one, we're gonna make a bubble, but it's gonna be filled with something besides air. Oh, what is it gonna be filled with? Do you know what dry ice is, Mika? Yeah. <laughs> so dry ice is made of carbon dioxide, which is already in our air. We just breathe it normally. But what they do is they make it really, really tight so that it get things really, really cold. Whoa, and way colder than the ice you would find in your refrigerator. Yeah, that's right. It's negative 100 degrees Fahrenheit. That's super cold. In fact, it's so cold, it's not really safe to touch. Mm -mm. So we never wanna touch it. So what we do is we keep it nice and safe inside here, mm -hmm. but what comes out is the sublimated form of carbon dioxide, oh. which is this smoke that we see. Isn't yeah. that neat? So we can put it here in our bubble solution. We turn it and it can trap the, the fog inside the bubble. Wow, and look. now you have a smoke-filled bubble. That's really neat. Yeah. It was kind of like a crystal ball. Yeah, and you know what's really cool? Remember last time how we put a bubble in your hand? Yep. Would you like a smoke-filled bubble in your hand? Yes, I would, thank you. All right, let's <laughs> do it. All right, so do you remember the trick to how we always hold a bubble without popping it? Right, you don't want your hands to be dry. Mm -hmm. My hands are really dry right now, so I'm gonna put some bubble solution on them. They get nice and wet. Perfect. Okay. All right, and I will help you put the bubble inside your hand. Okay. All right, here we go. Get it on here, hold on. Why don't we, there we go. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa, now you have a smoke-filled bubble in your hand. That's so cool. You can't even see through it. That's how much smoke is in mm -hmm. there. Can you make it dance? <laughs> oh, come on, bubble. Yes! Oh, this bubble has moved. <laughs> Did you know that carbon dioxide is actually heavier than regular air? Oh. Yeah, so when we fill the bubble, mm -hmm. we use only carbon dioxide. So all you see is the smoke that's inside. Yeah, you can't see through it or anything. Nope, but if we make a bubble and we have both air and carbon dioxide, oh. we'll be able to see which one's heavier. How does it get in there? So we're gonna use this and we're gonna stick it right inside oh. here. Thank you for your help, Mika. Yeah. All right, Whoa. do you see that? Do you see how at the bottom, there's the fog, carbon dioxide smoke, and then mm -hmm. at the top, you can see that it's just regular air. Right. So even though it's both air and gas, one is definitely heavier than the other. Yeah, and it's going to the bottom. Yeah, and then look, now you have a smoke-filled bubble. Oh. Whoa. Do you want to see something, Mika? Yeah. All right. I'm going to make <gasps> a bubble arch. It's like a rainbow. All right. I'm going to make one more just for you. All oh, right. Thanks. Here we go. <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. All right. Do you want to try? Yeah. Thanks. Oh, oh look how big this bubble wand is. It's bigger than my head. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, get some solution on there, and... Whoa! Wow, it was so pretty! That was awesome, great job! Thank you, and thanks for teaching me about bubbles and showing me all these cool bubble tricks! Yeah, no problem! I hope you're having a great time! Oh yeah! Have fun! All right, I'll see you later! Okay, bye! Whoa! She knows a lot about bubbles! All right, I'm gonna do another arch, ready? Three, two, one! Oh! <laughs> Wonder what else I can do with this big bubble wand. Whoa, look! It looks like a magnifying glass. Hello! <laughs> Whoa! Did you see that one? Oh, that one popped really fast. Whoa, that one popped fast too. I wonder if I can make one that will stay and float a little bit. <gasps> Whoa! Bubbles inside of a big bubble? Oh, that was amazing! <laughs> oh. 
Whoa! I could fit inside of that bubble! That's how big it was! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's raining bubbles on me! <laughs> some really cool bubble tricks. Wasn't it cool to see that bubble tower that I made? Oh, and my favorite was the big bubble arch. That was so much fun. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Well, thanks so much for learning with me today. <gasps> A bubble dance party! Let's dance! to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Mika! Mika.